I was appointed onto the ANC's Constitutional Committee after the Gabwe uh, ANC conference, uh, at which a decision was taken to actually establish an ANC constitutional and legal uh, department or unit. And I must say that uh, around 1989 also, there had been a conference on children, on the state of children in South Africa, which was held in Harare. On his return, uh, O.R. was moved uh, by what he had had. And um, when we were ready then, to return to South Africa in 1990, uh, and that's before he had a stroke. He had a discussion with me and, uh, and informed me to pay special attention to the situation of women and of children. I took it to heart when the ANC's Constitutional Committee set up at UWC, children's rights was a priority for me, as well as advancing women's human rights. And our placement at UWCU was a decision of the ANC, in fact. We had a discussion about it as the NC's Constitutional Committee, where we were informed that we, in fact, are going to be based at UWC. Immediately thereafter, um, we were introduced to uh, Professor Renfri, Nico Stetler, on our arrival in Cape Town. The choice was deliberate, well considered, and we were informed so. And it was because you had a great anti-apartheid ANC activists like uh, Herbel. You also had Professor Renfri, and you, have, you had Nico Stetler. Uh, and this was a great team, I must say. I think that had we not been based at UWC, we wouldn't have achieved as much as we did. Dr. Zola Squeya had to lead as the head of the ANC Constitutional Committee and convene us as the ANC's Constitutional Committee. He did so and where uh, Dala had to give leadership as head of CLC, he also did so. CLC was an academic center. And so work that had to come out of there uh, was to be respected even by uh, Dala's peers as head of the, of, the, of, the, of, of the place. And thus it was important that whatever is done there must be worked at very honestly and very professionally. I got an assistant, a very able assistant uh, for the children's rights program. Uh, um, Amy Bill. She was a Fulbright student and had a beautiful personality, very close to Dala. Unfortunately, it's her openness, her warmth. She went to the township when she didn't know much about the township, but she went with friends. She had friends across the color line, if that, that, that mattered in those days, didn't it? And um, it 
was very sad when she was killed. It was trauma. Um, all her friends were uh, taken aback. But the greatest lesson for for many of us in South Africa who were touched by Amy's life and her passing was the generosity of her parents. You know, the forgiveness. I think there are lessons for, for, for us, you know, a, a country always strained by conflict. Mm -hmm. We had lots of seminars, uh, you name it, on governance, on um, the character of the state, uh, on the Bill of Rights, various aspects of the Bill of Rights, on women and children's rights, uh, on environmental matters, on the economy. We still have pamphlets, you know, little booklets, not much research but you know, enabling research um, that form the basis for subsequent policy. What well, this is the nice one. I must talk to that one. What is a constitution? You see, this is what we distributed. We did this at CLC and we did this to educate people. So we, we did you, you see, what we would do, then the NC then owns it. We we'll do the work and the drafts and everything. And then when the NEC approves, then they take ownership of it. I think the most difficult one was around regions, uh, around the policy on, uh, remember we had four provinces and we were about to come out with nine provinces which we have today. It was not an easy one. I actually had the privilege of meeting some of your researchers, but I was very impressed that you have a lot coming from uh, the continent. It is time for us to, to to be where we belong, you know, we are part of Africa and it's the right thing to do. Uh, after all, all these years we've been supported by uh, uh, our African brothers and sisters during the struggle against apartheid. It was difficult for some of us who had returned home after 30 years, I think, and, and conduct research and mobilize people when you, in fact, are new in the country. But Dala was always available for advice, uh, very helpful. Dala is properly honored uh, because he deserves to be acknowledged for his leadership. In, 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 in moving us forward. Dala Oma Institute, a powerful name, a befitting honor to a great man. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for doing that. <laughs>